Hello guys, this is Raptamon132 here, and welcome once again to another episode of fan-made reactions to My Little Pony Friendship is Magic fan-made stuff. Yep, so uh, today, as usual, I'm going to be reacting again to some other fan-made work that I've uh, found, and I haven't actually watched. And this time, it is going to be... One, two, three... This time, it's five, rea like five videos this time. So, I'm going to be reacting to five different fan-made stuff of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Okay, first one I'm going to react to is one called Star Wars Reenacted by Ponies. It's interesting. Yeah, I decided to uh, look at this one because because I've actually heard about these reenacted by pony series, and it's actually like from what I heard, they're actually quite interesting. And uh, this one is to do with Star Wars, because as you know, because you probably guys don't know about it, but I'm actually a Star a Star Wars fan, which I can't wait till Episode Seven comes out. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be reacting to this one first. So, without further ado, let's begin. Oh, and, hang on a sec. Right, I'll just put it on uh, low volume, because I remember last time when I did a reaction, I, like when I did Don't Mine at Night, uh, my voice was almost unheard, but not making that same mistake twice. So, anyway... Right, let's begin. Here we go! Tatooine. <laughs> How did my father die? He was murdered by Darth Pinky. Darth he Pinky? He was by the dark side of the horse. <laughs> dark side of the horse. <laughs> yes, I bet you were. Yeah, that was Durfee. <laughs> yep, that's Durfee in the role of Greedo. And Applejack looks like she's taking the role of, um, uh, Han Solo. And looks like, um, Rainbow Dash is taking the role of Luke, and I think, Ra I think, um, Fluttershy is taking the role of, uh, of Obi Wan or Ben. Anyway, continue. Whoop. Apology oh, just no. went down. Look out! It's Hang there on. in the moon. Just, just readjust the uh, the quality a bit more. I don't know why it did that. Anyway, sorry about that. Let's continue. That's no moon. It's a space station. Really? That's so awesome! Not just any <laughs> space station. A big, huge, massive, galaxy-controlling tractor beaming could destroy a planet in a single shot space station. <laughs> Sounds like fun, Shy. We can just shoot a missile into its main reactor. It'll blow up in ten seconds flat. <laughs> ten seconds flat. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Granny Smith is taking the role of uh, Yoda in this one. I don't... I don't believe it. That is why you fail. It's the horse! <laughs> the horse. <laughs> Impressive! <laughs> Pink oh, Amin is back. Has taught you well. These chains are across <laughs> fashion! <laughs> Oh my god. Spike is Jabba the Hutt and Rarity as Princess Leia in in a slave girl outfit. <laughs> oh my god. It's all kind of ironic. <laughs> Dear Princess 
Celestia. Today I oh, will Twilight. destroy Rainbow Skywalker. Oh, Rainbow Skywalker. <laughs> so she took the role as the Emperor. <laughs> That was actually... Hang on, I just want to see the cast again. Let's see. <laughs> That's actually... Just as I thought. <laughs> well, what can I say about this? I have to say that it was actually quite entertaining. Like, uh, brief, but entertaining. You know, seeing, uh, the, uh, main six act as the, uh, Star Wars characters. And very interesting. And, you know, kind of interesting seeing, uh, Twilight as a villain. You'd never... thing is, you'd never imagine her as a villain. And Pinkie Pie acting as, uh, Darth Vader. <laughs> that's actually interest. That's actually interesting. Especially with her as, uh, Pink Amina. Yeah, that's, um... Yeah, Pink Amina. That's the, uh... The one with the... Flat mane and tail. Yeah, that's, um... Not the... Frizzy, Alfro... Poff... Poofy, uh, hair. That she usually has. But yeah, I thought this was actually entertaining. Like, using a bit of, uh... My Little Pony references and using, uh, like, into a Star Wars thing. Thought it was rather interesting. Yeah, so, uh, anyway, that is, um, first video, so I'm gonna get set up for the next one. Be right back. Right, guys, I'm back. Uh, next one is gonna be a video. It's called Epic Pie Time interesting title and um, yeah from what I know like from what I saw in the icon picture a while ago this one is gonna involve Pinkie Pie and uh, yeah yeah cooking well that's what I saw from the from the uh, picture but um, yeah I guess the only way to find out is to watch it so let's begin on this one here we go Today, we have Applejack here. Uh, I'll just adjust howdy. the volume. And Rarity too. If she didn't decide to pussy out, come <laughs> on, tell her she's a little bitch. We're about Ooh. to go fabulous on all these apples. <laughs> so this one's a little bit, uh, adult. To the cute corner, about to get down some apple pies. Granny Smith, Big Macintosh, golden and red delicious. Huh. Applejack Daniels, motherfucker, what up? Applejack Daniels. <laughs> Reference to Jack Daniels whiskey. But we ain't got no chemical X. Instead, we've got the good shit. Applejack drink! Holy shit. Time for the crust. First the flour, then the water, and now the eggs. <laughs> oh my god. What'd you say? Nothing. Just um keep eating. <laughs> Oh, vinyl. <laughs> Mixing it with whoops. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is messed up. <laughs> not, not every day you hear swearing on My Little Pony. You like cartoons? We got cartoons. You get one month free trial of all the cartoons you want, and we get cupcake money. Don't you fuck this up for me! I need my cupcake money! <laughs> oh my god. And now, things get delicious. Hey, bacon strips. Hey, bacon strips. Hey, bacon, hey, bacon strips. Hey, bacon strips. <laughs> Didn't know they have bacon. And now, we cream on this bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Which one oh. of you f***ing pieces of <laughs> called me a bitch? Ooh. How cool 
<laughs> Interesting. Oh, well, what do you know? Va Jessica Nowak did um did uh, vinyl scratch in this again. Yeah, that's the um that's the one that I mispronounced as no as Noah whacking or something. Well, that's what I thought I pronounced her as. Yeah. Interesting. Well, what do I have to say about this one? This is actually a little bit inter it was interesting seeing uh so many you know, I was a little bit surprised to see so much swearing in this one. Not not something you'd probably see in my little pony very often. Oh, and uh, by the way, I noticed that when they were saying the words like the F word, like "fuck," yeah, they were going, they were making that squeeze sound. I for I actually forgot to say one thing, and I'll it's too late now, but I'll say it anyway. Rubber ducky. <laughs> yeah, that that's to make up for the um, squeeze sounds, because you know I said that every time I would hear that squeeze sound, I'd say rubber ducky. So, um, yeah, sorry I didn't say that. It's just that I was so surprised by the swearing and how common it was being used in this one that I just couldn't keep up with it. Because, you know, I'm used to hearing that sound only, uh, you know, briefly, like once or twice or three, like one or even three times in a single episode. So, uh, yeah, I'm not used to hearing it all the time, so... So yeah, I I apologize in advance in advance for not uh, doing doing my usual catchphrase. Yeah, so um, thought this was actually interesting, and seeing that they have hay strips instead of bacon strips, and uh, interest and it was nice to hear uh, uh, Jessica Nowak doing um, vinyl scratch again. That's um, the voice actress that. Well, that uh, fanfic voice actress that I've heard about, but but yeah, it was interesting to see hear her repra rephrase her role again, or repraise, I should say, not rephrase. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was interesting to hear, interesting to see, and it was quite entertaining. Right, so that's it for uh, Epic Pie Time, and I will get started on the uh, next one. I'll get set up and start. As usual, be right back. Hi guys, I'm back again, and uh, this one is number three. Now this one that I'm going to react to is something that was requested to me by one of my subscribers, and it's to do with that character... Button Mash. That's the uh, the one that loves video games, and this one is a is called the Perfect Stallion with Deleted Scene by J by Jan Animations. This one, yeah, this one is going to be a uh, a version of the the song Perfect Perfect Stallion from Hearts and Hooves Day. That's the the song. That's the first uh, good song from the uh, the Cutie Mark Crusaders, or as I or as one one uh, subscriber asked me to call them, the Butt Symbol Brigade. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm going to look at this one, and it like I said, it's going to be a a uh, the music video. It's going to be like the uh, a scene from. Uh, the episode Hearts and Hooves Day, but it's no spoiler for me because I've already done that episode for a Valentine's Day special, and it's also, and it's going to have um, a certain scene by uh, Jan Animations with um, Button Mash involved, or well, Buttons Mash involved. So 
Yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna... Anyway, let's cut the chit-chat, let's begin. Here we go! Yep, it's the same song. I still think that this part sounds like Oh Sherry by uh, Steve Perry. Ah, uh, this is for it. What? No! No! <laughs> Sweet <Abel. laughs> Oh, God! Okay, here we go. Get ready. I'm ready. This one's too young. Huh? What? No! 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 Sweetie Belle! <laughs> Six hours wasted. <laughs> Do you want to play again? <laughs> okay. That was funny. That was actually hilarious. Oh, listen to the whole song. Excuse me. <laughs> Prince Blue Blood. <laughs> Caramel. Tyne Turner. <laughs> Tis. <laughs> I've seen a lot of reactors uh, react to that. And they're gonna ask Big Mac. Nope. Well, what can I say about this? I think that this was it was actually quite entertaining. Yeah, it was nice hearing that uh that song again. And and um seeing Button's, you know, hilarious reaction, you know, crying cuz he lost a video game. <laughs> that was quite predictable. <laughs> He's actually, he, if I didn't know better, I'd say that he was a good representation of a, a game, a game alcohol, like an arcade game, al arcade gameaholic, or whatever you'd want to call it, you know, people that are addicted to arcade games and, or any type of video game. And you probably noticed that I was actually talking through this, but, um, you know, usually when I, um, when I'm uh, hearing a song on an episode, I usually just stay silent because you know I don't really want to. Because I know, because I think you'd like to hear the songs, but yeah. So you probably noticed I was talking a lot. I was talking during the song, but usually I stay silent. I stay com completely silent no matter what. And that's just how I like. That's just how I like to do it. Although there was one time I did actually talk talk in a song, and that was um, that was in the last episode of season one. That was the best night ever. It was at the song at the gala, and I said something in uh, in the song, and that was the um, 
that was the scene with Celestia, you know, doing that, uh, you know, symbol, doing a Disney reference. That was, um, yeah, Disney logo reference. That's when I uh, spoke out, and then I, I shut it up. Yeah. So this time, but this time, I, you guys, I know the song, and you guys know it too. So um, that's why I was speaking in this one because it had that deleted scene and that uh, Jan Jan animations she's like this anim this uh, animation thing is actually very very interesting and very interesting how she's able to uh, match that animation as you guys have probably um, met, told me in the comments in a few that I done yeah, so I thought this one was actually uh, interesting too. And and like I said before, um, you probably noticed at the start I said, I still think that the start sounds like Oh Sherry by um, Steve Perry. If you guys um, know know that song and if you heard the the um, instrumental ver like the um, the synthesizer start of that song of that popular '80s song you probably have noticed that it sounds very similar. Yeah, so I actually thought this one was funny. Like, you know, that the thing I was looking for was the, um, was the deleted scene. That was, um, hilarious seeing Buttons, uh, lose his concentration and then, you know, and then, you know, tucking a huge tanny over losing a game and, you know, crying and, you know, ah, sweetie Bell. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. In fact, you know, what I've just no in fact, come to think of it, I should just say this, that I have noticed something about the voice of, um, of the one who does Buttons Mash. That's, um, is that he sound like the one who does his voice sounds very similar to the voice actor who did um who did um uh what's his name uh, uh Yuma Sukumo you know Yuma Sukumo from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Zexel I've noticed that um he sounds very that he sounds just like Yuma Sukumo from uh yeah, the one who does Buttons Mash has a voice that sounds just like Yuma Sukumo in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. So I thought I'd just point that out. Anyway, uh, that that is it for um, the deleted scene of um, of the Perfect Stallion, and uh, I'll get set up for the next one. So be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. As I promised I would. Uh, this one is a fourth one I'm going to be looking at. This one's called Take a Bow. Interesting title. And from what I can see, it is going to be another fan-made thing involving Vinyl Scratch and Octavia Melody. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to be looking at another Vinyl Scratch Octavia Melody skit. So, yeah, this one is going to be interesting. And I even wonder if uh, Jessica Nowak is going to be, um, is going to be on this again. But I'll soon find out. Anyway, let's begin. Here we go. Take a bow. <laughs> Sounds like a video game. Oh, <laughs> hey Octavia, w what's up? <laughs> oh nothing. Huh. I was Sounds like Jessica Nowak. When I noticed that my bow had been sabotaged, you wouldn't happen to know anything about this now, would you? Uh oh. Well, yeah, <laughs> my bad. I'm really sorry about that, Tavy. <sighs> What did you even do? 
Well, you see, after you stepped out last night, I was working on my new remix, and I was really rocking it. Flying with your wobs as usual. Too hard, though, and I accidentally sent my glasses flying across the room into that mouse <laughs> Likely story. I could see him in there, but I needed something to help me get him out. Then I remembered that your cello stick thing has that wicked hook on the end. Fine. You have a magical hook. Why didn't you use that? Uh oh. <laughs> didn't think, did you? Goddamn dumbass! So, anyway, I went and got your cello stick, and I was using it to fish out my glasses. Oop. I managed to get them out, but unfortunately... She broke them. I'm really, em. really sorry, Tavy. Well, it doesn't look like it suffered any real damage. It just needs to be restrung. I might need some help, however. Great, sure! So, what are those things made out of, anyway? Uh-oh. Oh, nothing too mysterious. Just Penandrico wood, mother of pearl inlay, and... Oh, wait a minute. Ouch! Yep, I was right. Uh, that should do. Thank you. <laughs> sorry, I'm pausing. Sure, whatever. <laughs> yeah, sorry I was pausing, uh, repeatedly pausing it. But, um... I was just looking for a right place to pause. I should have not... I actually do remember that, um... That, uh, violins and, uh... Cellos and double bass are... Well, the sticks that they use to play them are made out of, um... Horse hair from ta... Like, tail hair from horses. Or, in this case, pony hairs. So... Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, let's continue. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a concert to practice for. Hmm. That's a nice looking blue touch to her, um... To her, uh, cello stick. <laughs> Looks like vinyl's playing... Messing around with her wobs again. Or not. <laughs> do it again. I, I, I don't think that's a good. Uh, Just do it again. Could it be? Oh. <laughs> it's a hair that does it. Huh. Wow. Lionel, your glasses are. Are you okay? I love you. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> wow. So unicorn magic not only exists in their horns, but in their tails too. Interesting. Wait a sec. Foxy Lee vinyl scratch? Oh. So it wasn't uh, Jessica Nowak doing vinyl scratch this time. Funny, she actually did sound a little bit like... Um, no whack. Oh well. <laughs> that was interesting. Well, what can I say about this? It was actually quite interesting. Interesting that, um, you know, like I said earlier, that, um, that Jessica Nowak wasn't done wasn't doing vinyl scratch in this one. And it was interesting to uh, see that uh, vinyl was... And you know, that's, that sound that came from her Octavia's um, cello stick, the, you know, after putting vinyl's uh, tail hairs on it. Just makes me think, it just kind of makes me think that maybe Unicorn Pony Magic doesn't not only exists in uh, their horns, but it also exists in their hair as well. In fact, I just uh, thought of something. And, you know, it's 
and you probably expect it's going to be a Harry Potter thing, but if I remember that one of the cores in one of the wand cores in Harry Potter is unicorn hair from tail, like unicorn tail hair. It just got me wondering that if Ollivander got unicorn hairs from a quest from from the ponies of Equestria and started using that, it got me wondering if maybe if he did that would unicorn hairs from Equestria be much more powerful wand cores than unicorn hairs from the wizarding world. Just got me thinking of that. You know, and it just got me thinking that maybe if uh, Ollivander did make did started to use uh, unicorn hairs from unicorn ponies from Equestria, they'd probably be much a more powerful wand core. Probably equivalent to Dragon Heart Heartstring. So, yeah, but if if you guys have any thoughts about that, just tell me in the comments what you think about that. And anyway, um, yeah, it was actually a bit of a uh, a fun one. And you know, see, anyway, just continuing the um, seeing, you know, um, uh vinyl trying to solve something by using somebody's things while well, she could have used her magic but she didn't think of that <laughs> yeah but well, lucky she didn't really break it anyway that's it for uh, take a bow and uh, I'm gonna get set up for the um, for the fifth and final one I'm gonna be doing tonight so anyway I'll be right back Hi guys, I'm back again, and this time we've reached the uh, finale of this video. Uh, this one is going to be one involving uh, Princess Luna and Princess Celestia. This one is called The Moon Rises, SFMPMV. And uh, this kind of looks like another video involving like I said, Princess Luna and Princess Celestia. So, yeah, this one is going. This one is the fifth and final one for this video, and uh, we'll see what this one is like. Anyway, let's begin. Here we go. Yeah, it's done by that same computer animation knife saw it one time. Now the hours come at last, the soft and green. Ah, it's another, another musical one. I wonder who sings that. Whoever's singing this is really, really good. This is another uh, ascension to Nightmare Moon. Wow. 
Wow. Well, this one was actually very... This one was actually quite a good one. Like, the song in this was actually interesting. It kind of sounded like it was something for a musical. And, like, whoever was singing the, uh, the voice of... Well, singing the part of um, Luna in this one... Actually sounded quite good. And... Like, it was done by that same uh, animation program that I've heard about, that I saw in a previous one. And... Yeah, and I've... I'm wondering, who was that person that... Like, who was that person singing? Like, not the character, I mean the, uh... The voice actress. Like, if you guys know who she... Like, who she is, let me know in the comments. And... Yeah. It was quite a good one. And, you know, I should have expected that it's another, um... Another song involving Luna's ascension to Nightmare Moon. In fact, speaking of Nightmare Moon, I actually had... I actually uh, read something about Nightmare Moon some time ago. It was actually a... Um, actually... It's something that I uh, looked up one time. And there's actually a theory going around, you know, about Nightmare Moon. And it was... The theory was that Nightmare Moon and Princess Luna are two different entities. Like, uh, a bit... Like, what I mean by entities is that they're different people, but one... Like, they're different, but one at the same. Like, the best example I can think of... Actually, two good examples I can think of is... Actually, no, make it three. Best examples I can come up with is... Like... The Skeksis and Mystics in The Dark Crystal. How they're two separate, but one and the same. One of good, one of evil. Or, you probably don't know that one, well... These two you'll probably know if you, uh... The other two I was thinking of is, um... First is... Kami and Piccolo, or... Good and Bad Margin Boo from Dragon Ball Z. You know how there, there's, like there's Piccolo and Kami, which are a good and a bad. They're two different, like they're two different people, but one and the same. Like many, like some people have speculated, and even I have speculated that Nightmare Moon is the evil side of Princess Luna. And I actually asked somebody. I think it was Maddox, I think I asked, if, um, I actually shared that theory with him on an episode that was, um, that was the Halloween one. And, you know, because, you know, he, like, I do look at those ones because, because, you know, I did, um, that episode. And it's the only, uh, epi it's one of three episodes of season two that I can look up without looking at spoilers. Because, you know, I did them for uh, holiday specials. And on it, I described that someday I have a feeling that that Nightmare Moon will return. But I have a feeling that she will return, but she'll probably be expelled out of Luna's body. Like, similar to uh, Good Boo, how... Um, Bad Boo got out of uh, Good Boo, similar to that, and have Luna fight. And you know, Maddox said that he that he would like to see that and see Luna fight against uh, her bad side. I think that would be an interesting uh, scenario. So yeah, I um, commented to him about that on um, his reaction to uh, Lunar Eclipsed. 
and he and uh, he actually agreed with me on that. And like, if you guys ha think of that too, and if you think have different thoughts about um, about Nightmare Moon being like Nightmare Moon and Luna being two different uh, personalities or different uh, people, but one at the same. Like, if you have different theories on that, let me know. And, um, yeah. So anyway, that's, um, uh, anyway, that's my reaction to, uh, Moon Rises, and it was quite good. That was, uh, the final one of this video. I hope you enjoyed my blind reaction to fan-made My Little Pony videos, and hopefully I shall get on to uh, another reaction when I can, as soon as I can, when I get the chance, and still doing my update video, and all of that. But until then, thank you all for watching. This is Raptamon132 saying, bye-bye everyone, bye-bye.